This is Morgan Hazelwood, back again with more writing tips and writerly musings. Today, I'm back with seven ways writers handle rejection. You might be aware that I'm actively querying my second world fantasy novel. Maybe it's something to do with the theme of my last several posts. <laughs> Let's just say I'm not getting the nibbles I would like. So going from the not so useful to the potentially helpful, here are obviously seven ways writers handle rejection. Number one, lashing out. These are the writers who write back, who tell the agent that they're wrong not to fling money hand over fist at them because the money doesn't actually come from the agents. Anyway, these are the writers who go to social media and call out agents for perceived faults. These are the writers that agents warn each other about. The ones who helped encourage writers, or sorry, agents, to never give feedback. Clearly, this isn't you, though. Of course, I'm not saying there aren't problematic agents. I watch the literary news and gossip. So, number two of ways writers deal with rejection, indulging in substances. From the PG versions of chocolate and ice cream to more adult versions of alcohol and pot to harder substances, plenty of writers have been known to comfort eat slash indulge themselves finding distraction and a sugar rush or what have you to help raise those endorphins. The third way some writers deal with rejection is walking away. The literary world is hard. Constant rejection is hard. Some writers toss in the towel, either giving up on publishing and deciding to just write for themselves and any online followers, or by giving up on writing altogether. Of course, if they ever change their minds, their novel will be right there waiting for them. The fourth way some writers deal with rejection is binge reading. Nearly every writer out there got into it because of our love of reading and our dream of seeing the types of stories we want told in published books. Sometimes the best way to find your enthusiasm for writing again is to remind yourself what you're aspiring to by reading books that give you characters and settings that consume you. The fifth way some writers deal with rejection is self-publishing. Just do it yourself. Traditional publishing is surrounded by gatekeepers accepted tropes, dictated pacing, and a lot of waiting. In this day and age, one doesn't have to subject oneself to all of that. You can take your novel, get it edited, and publish it yourself, controlling everything from the title to how it's marketed. No need to resign yourself to cover art you don't adore or blurb text that pushes the wrong aspects of the story or what have you. You have complete control to make sure that no one gets it wrong. The sixth way some writers deal with rejection is revision. Now, I've fallen into this trap a few times myself, but every rejection does have one thing in common. The agent is re rejecting your manuscript. Not you, no matter how personal it feels. So maybe the problem is with your query, or your synopsis, or your story. It might be time to take a good hard look at what you have and what the market seems to be looking for right now. And number seven of ways some writers deal with rejection is sending out another query. Of course, the reason all the agents rejected you so far could be simply you haven't found the right agent yet. So when you get one rejection in, you just send out another query to a different agent. 
maybe this one will see the not-so-hidden gem within your manuscript. And those are the seven ways writers can deal with rejection, and I've definitely dabbled in most of those. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below uh, how you deal with rejection and ways of coping. It, it's hard. It's really hard. And that's all for today. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that subscribe button and share it with all your friends. It goes a long way towards helping people find me. And I'll be back again next Monday with more writing tips and writerly musings. Bye-bye.